Carolyn, completely agree with you. By the way, the greatest joy of being a host here at QVC is the people you meet along the way. I want to introduce you to John McLeod. Welcome. How are you? Very good. Thank you. I got a chance to meet John for the first time this morning. You were on the air one time. One time. By the way, that was a very short appearance. It was kind of like, hi, John, nice product. It sold out. Now, please go home. <laughs> exactly <laughs> That's right. That's kind of how it went. That's <laughs> this perfect. is John's second appearance. It was back in March that he brought to us something that is considerably different in the world of rugs. You've been in the rug industry for how many years? Now? 25 years. 25 years. Yeah. Five years ago, he made a decision to start his own company to manufacture the best in the world. And we think he's done it. This is different than any type of outdoor mat, doormat, or rug that you've ever had at your home. It is a real example of American ingenuity. You can't kill this. Bulletproof. Bulletproof. <laughs> at $17.94, I want to point out, we're not the only retailer in America to carry it. Your business is starting to grow in leaps and bounds, but our price is smoking good. Yeah, it is. Well, let's talk about what it is that you do that's so different because it doesn't matter whether it, we're talking about just wiping your feet in dirt. It doesn't matter whether it's the elements outside. It'll be rock salt as we get into winter. It could be chlorine near the pool, bleach. Like I said, you can't kill this thing. What'd you make it out of? That's the whole key to it. Okay. Um, being in the rug and carpet business for 20 years, uh, the yarns that were available to us were olefin, which is polypropylene, okay. polyester, and nylon. All great yarns, especially for indoor. stain. Oh, they can all stain. Yep. They can all stain. Um, so what we did here, uh, we went to uh, and found someone outside of the rug business. We found a company that made yarn for outdoor furniture. Okay. And for awnings and tarps and things like that indestructible yarn and all it is is it's a polyester yarn that's coated with vinyl okay so that makes it impervious to almost everything so every one of these bright colors and by the way uh i'm the colorblind guy here but i don't think you missed a color i no, think every single one in nature is here and if you look closely these are tiny little loops and every one of those little loops is like a scraper on the bottom of your shoe, your work boots, your hiking boots, your tennis shoes, what have you. Absolutely. Most dirt in your home came in through the door. Yes. And it's a high percentage. So right. if you can keep the door, the dirt outside, you don't clean as much. At $17.94, we're gonna go play. We're gonna have some fun, show them some demonstrations. All you need to do to clean this thing off is hose it down. That's all you gotta do is take a hose to it. It'll completely clean it. Um, there are, in the construction of the rug, uh -huh. there is a loop, there's a hundred loops in every small square inch. So every square inch has a hundred loops. And this thing is three feet long three by feet. 20 inches in width. So it's bigger than a regular doormat, by the way. So put it anywhere. Uh, by the way, I was thinking about the back of, of the SUV is a great place. It is, it is. One by the garage door, yeah. tracking all that dirt into the house, one by the front door, et cetera. We've got some of your competition, and they're, they're well known. We've got the Good cocoa mats, mats yep. and they're attractive and they say nice things like welcome, but I don't want to welcome dirt into my house. Right. I want to clean less. Right. This is thinner profile. It's very lightweight, but you can't move across it without it. You can hear it scraping. Oh yeah, it takes the everything of your off. Shoes, and it cleans everything. Sure enough. That's really cool. Let's, let's talk about some other things. The way you manufacture it and the way it will come to the folks at home is it will be rolled up. Uh, that way it's easier to ship. It's also, by the way, more expensive to roll than to fold flat. Have you ever bought the big mats and they're, they're folded flat? You get them home, you never get the crease out. Because these are rolled. This All is how it comes. Do, let it out. If it, if it still has a little curl to it, lay it in the sun for a little bit and the curl goes away. Yes. So, yes. easy, easy. Yes. Let's make it dirty. All right. This is what <laughs> this I've been This is your favorite to do. part. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to see these demonstrations. All right. And this is why it's sold out so quickly back in March. It was on the air one time. Uh, and strangely enough, because you and I were talking about weather and how it holds up, you're an American company, but right now you're actually selling more of these in Canada than you are here in the U.S. We have for some strange reason. Yeah, they sell like crazy up in Canada. What too. do we got? Well, my wife and I decided we were going to do coffee. Okay. Okay, so here's Now keep in mind. Coffee. Virtually any other doormat or rug. And I hate to say doormat. It's not a mat. The difference between a rug and a mat is it's the way in which it's made. This is much higher quality. 
Uh, how long is your warranty on it? Uh, ten years. Uh, ten years. We warranty it. Well, it will never fade. Okay. In ten years. Okay. Coffee grape didn't juice. do anything to it. Grape Even on juice. the white fibers, the grape juice did nothing to it. Bread sauce, tomato sauce. Sure, why not? Okay. That happens at my front door all the time. We'll even rub <laughs> that in a little bit. Okay. And then and just good old, good old dirt. fashion American dirt. There you go. Rub some of that in too. It just cannot destroy it. All you need to do is hose this off. Now we don't have a hose here in the, in, no, so in I the got studio, little... but we got water. <laughs> and every one of those colors will go absolutely back to the brightness that it was at before. I've never seen a doormat with a 10-year warranty. Joe. No, no, there ever. aren't. There aren't. This is the first I have ever been around to. So, so that's it. And this thing, by the way, is attractive enough and cushy enough to put it right in front of the sink. If you spend a lot of time doing Every, dishes, it's kind of nice to have that cushion. That's the beautiful thing. This this mat probably has more uses okay. than any other rug I would agree. we've ever been around. Uh, you know, so. put one right outside of the, sho the shower. Now, by the way, just like any other rug, uh, if you've got really slick floors, like hardwoods, things like that, a little double-sided tape that you would use on any other rug is a good idea would, as well. Yes, yes. And part of the manufacturing process is if you see any little stringies hanging off it, John and his team designed this in such a way, take a pair of scissors, snip it, it's not gonna hurt it at That's all. That's correct, yes. This thing is designed to last for a decade or more. And it's more attractive. So keep the dirt outside you don't have to clean it from the inside. It's a beautiful design. You guys did a nice job thank on Thank you, thank you. Yeah, that was one thing that everybody keeps talking about, how beautiful the colors are. And one thing about a mat, especially if it's meant to go outside, right? Um, typically mats are always made dark because they're to going- To hide the dirt. To hide the dirt. Exactly right. And then if we tried to make something with a lot of color, it was going to fade. Yep. So finally, we've got the mat with all the issues. So if I live if I live in Miami and the, the sun is 106 gazillion degrees, yeah. doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. If you live in Wisconsin, where by the way they have one more day of, of summer left and then it snows. Is that right? I, I think that's the way okay. it works. All right. <laughs> the snow won't hurt it. Nothing will fade these colors. No. And it will keep the dirt outside. And you've yeah. got to feel the texture. It's very comfortable. Yeah. How many of these little loops again, John? 100 per square inch. And every one of them works like a little spatula yeah. up against the bottom of your shoes yeah. to keep all the dirt where you want it to be, and that's outside your house. In the video that we have running, uh -huh. um, it shows a lot of the different uses, but one thing that my wife does, we have two dogs, and when she uh, bathes them, right. you know, showers them, puts them in the shower, well, they slip. Okay. So she lays one of these down. That's a great idea. Yeah. And then afterwards, uh, this is what she does. She gravity rolls it so it'll dry in about 10 minutes. She okay. does this. She'll take it. Now, it's still wet, but she'll set it in the corner. Well, everything falls to the bottom in about 10 minutes, dry again. That's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go off to our phone lines and say hello. Uh, we want to say hi to Beverly. Beverly, where are you calling from? Where is home for you? Bucks County, Pennsylvania. Oh, you're just down the road. Yes, I am. Nice to have you here. Let me introduce you to the creator and the man who owns the company. This is John. Hi. Oh, good morning, John. Hi, Dan. Uh, are you just tired of kind of ugly doormats? I have an ugly doormat that is ineffective. <laughs> okay. And especially after last winter with all the rock salt and all the, you know, snow. Uh-huh. I just thought this would be a dream come true. It's, people don't realize, big cleaning companies, the very first thing they do when they get a corporate job is to mat every entrance into that building. Mm -hmm because if they can keep the dirt outside, their people don't have to work nearly as hard on the yeah, inside. that's right. And this is really different in terms of no one else in the market has this type of technology. No. So. I was, I was just quite impressed, not only by the appearance, but the, um, the, you know, the creativeness, the ingenuity behind it. I just like the, the way this was done. It was very impressive to me. Thank Good. you very much. Uh, and although I can't, I can't say too much about price other than the fact that our price is extremely reasonable, uh, if you find this in the marketplace, well, John, does anybody else sell it for $17.94? 
No. <laughs> you didn't. I doubt I'd find it in Bucks County, to, let alone at any price. So I, I say thank you. <laughs> Beverly, what, oh, you, thank you. what you didn't see is when I asked him that question, he wasn't smiling because we, we beat him up pretty good on this one. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I thank you for, for that, for that um, you know, beating. So. <laughs> uh, it is on its way. We'll have it to your front door in Bucks County very, thank very shortly. Thank you so much. Yep. I appreciate it. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Uh, Bye-bye. We had over 4,000. Let's, let's make a mess again. Okay. Here's the whole idea. You buy a pretty mat, and the first time you step on it and wipe your feet on it, it's not pretty anymore. No. <laughs> this has a 10-year warranty that it, the colors just will not fade. And it's because of the construction. It's made differently than any other, I hate to say mat. It's actually bigger than a mat. It's three feet long by 20 inches in width. But this is a rug. It is manufactured in a way that only rugs can be manufactured. So it's more expensive to make and the longevity is definitely there. Absolutely. Now, that's coffee. You that's just coffee. poured grape juice. And I want them to concentrate on the white. Can I pour the water? Yeah, sure. Get me involved. This would be fun. I was using coffee to clean the dirt. To clean the dirt, yeah. <laughs> but even the white does not stain. Oh, no. And it won't stain tomorrow. No, we've tried, it won't stain we've tried staining it with everything. We, we actually took it to a laboratory okay. to try to figure out if there is something that can stain it. And we did find one thing. What was that? Ballpoint pen ink. That's the only thing that can stain it. So if, if an accountant falls at your front door, <laughs> that's really, John, 